G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're back on the uh, Asian server today and uh, I found a new clan. Uh, the, the clan is Pebcac and these guys are a great bunch of guys. I've been with them for just oh, almost a month now and I'm pretty happy with staying here. Um, still grinding up to a tier 10 for clan wars, although I have been playing clan wars um, in smaller tanks that uh, allow me to compete. Also been playing a lot of strongholds, which is uh, which I found is great for leveling up tanks quickly, since you get a small additional XP bonus on top of it all. So um, without further ado, I'll introduce you to the Panther M10, the Tier 7 German medium tank, also premium. So you can use this tank to pr pretty much do any of your German medium crews. Now you can see it has a American marking and the American camo on it. This is because this is the War Crime Panther M10, which basically during the Battle of the Bulge, uh, a fellow called uh, I can't remember his first name, but I remember his name is Scorzani. Um, he basically he was uh, SS commander. He uh, took up this plan to infiltrate American lines, and this was uh, one of the many things. Basically, they did up a bunch of Panthers to look like M10 tank destroyers, and they also had um, Stugs set up as uh, priests, made to look like them, of course. They still functioned as their normal tank crews. So, um, yeah, the tank's pretty good. has a tier 6 gun, um, the uh, L70, which is pretty decent when it's at tier 7. It's a bit average at um, tier... Eight, but it doesn't see tier nine, which is very good. Armor's um, not bad. I mean, it's it's still a panther. It's pretty average, but it actually has a gun mantle at this one that's uh, fairly decent, and the gun pressure is not too bad, about six degrees. Um, but it's also about eight or so degrees to the side, which is typical of most German tanks. Um, DPM about four seconds to reload this gun. Not too bad at all. Accuracy very brilliant as per all German tanks. And penetration, well, it's 150 millimeters, so it's not too bad. Although the the premium round, if we stop spinning there just for the effect, has 194 for 133 damage. They're both 133 damage, which is good. I don't run any HE because I think it's useless in a 75 millimeter gun, except at lower tiers. Um, and I'm talking about tier three. Um, we run with a normal first aid kit, a small repair kit, and an automated st fire extinguisher. We're also running a rammer. Um, Vents... no, not... Am I running events? I can't remember. I don't think I'm running events, I think I'm running, um... Oh no, I am running events. And, uh, binocular telescope. So, yes. And, uh, that's just due to the ability to boost up my, my view range, which is nice. Um, see that coming to affect this game. So without further ado, we'll start the game. Just speed up the... game. As you can see this thing's not too f not too fast, but it's not exactly sluggish either. Um, we're going to continue speeding it up a bit, so it's going to be faster. Here we go. So I've decided to go down the left-hand side of the map, mainly because there's not many people going there, but also it's not a bad spot for me to go as well. <laughs> Except I did see that SU-100M one. We'll see him later. And there's also the Y. So I'm not too sure about going around this corner un unassisted, although I've noticed on the side of the map there's now half the team, so we're going to push it. And the first enemy we run, we run into will be... a Cheeto. Put a nice round to him, a little bit above average there. Put another hit into him. Put another hit into him. We can out DPM both these guys, so we're going to push it. Put a cheeky round to the side of his um, turret, and a fellow takes him out for us, which is very good. Put another round to the Chi To, and the SU-100 is coming around to see us. Unfortunately, we're putting a lot, taking a lot of damage early on, which is not very good. We're going to try and put another round to the SU-100M one. Bounce off the lower plate, which was just a little bit too angled for us. Cheeto's still there. Cheeto we're not too worried about because we can take a couple of hits from him. Oh, a very low roll there of 115. 
bounce two shots. You can actually bounce shots quite well here. We track him, give us some cover from the SU-100 M1. Just hit the gun on the Cheeto. Miss again. And someone takes out the SU-100 M1. So, Cheeto, we're going to take the shot, so I'm not too worried about that. Except someone behind me take, shoots me in the back. The KV-1 there, very, very thankful for that, thank you very much. Find SU-100, decide not to go around the corner and die. Miss the shot. He's decided not to even pay attention to us. I stop shooting stupidly and decide to uh, focus on in his cupola. Can we get the kill shot? Yes we can, so that's our first kill of the game. So we're going to speed this up a tiny bit just so we're not dawdling. We've seen that the cap is now under threat by several tanks. The Chaffee and M Easy 8 is also a Tiger 1 and T25 at 2. And, and there's also some other tanks coming up. And if I don't, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go get my daughter Banana Bar, which she's asking for very, very loudly. So I'll be right back. Now we're back. Um, so we're just taking out this uh, T25 AT. As you can see, we can really put the fire down. We've just put we put three shots into him this end. I am a massive fan of this tank. Massive fan to the point that I like it in tier 7 battles, and tier 8 battles I completely hate it. So, I'm going to keep trying to put more shots on. We haven't got we haven't got a huge amount of information, but it's enough to take out these guys. Not sure what this guy's doing, he seems to have given up. Managed to reset. Finish him off. Put him right through his turret. Fire again. Bounce off his manlet. Here we bounce a shot. Send him back to the garage. Thank you very much. So we've defended the cap very successfully. There's now only three tanks left. We have the upper hand at the moment, winning 12 8. And we're in a very healthy position. Just wondering what to do at this point here, because I'm worried that the SU 12244 will come up and start capping, along with his T29 buddy. Um, now, You'd think we'd win here. Well, you'd be mistaken. Basically, everyone leaves the cap to kill our lone KV-2. Who is there? One of our guys is then killed by the SU-2244. Which is awesome. So I decided, let's go back and help them, because they might need a bit of help. So why not? And there you go. Two of our guys are down. So we're now, we're now almost even at 12-11. And now we're e even... No, sorry, we just killed one, so we're still winning at 13-12. And this is where this replay gets very interesting. Okay, this is where... DPM wins... So put it around to the T29. And another. And he's now behind a rock. Not that I can see that there. Now, the Tiger 1, he should not be firing. He should be sitting there and just providing spots, if possible. Unfortunately, I can't get an angle on the T29. And I'm not in the best position. I'm a one-shot for the... T, sorry, the uh, SU-122-44, and I'm basically, a, I'm a possible one shot for the T-29. Now, Tiger-1 gets himself killed. I start unloading. I try to track him, but unfortunately did not do so. Now... He's going to do what I, exactly what I want him to do. This is where I'm going to be clever. I'm going to pop out so I can sit, try and spot him. But I think the Hellcat spots him before me. I 
put a ra I put a round right into the T29. Bounce another shot, and then he goes back around the corner. Unfortunately, been spotted by the SU-1244. Take a big hit from the T-29. I'm backing up. Hellcats, Hellcats done a really good job here, providing fire support as well. Unfortunately, we're now one shot free though. They could ram us and kill us off. So I've decided. I think I, I think that the SU one uh, one two two forty four is going to come around here. So I'm going to lie in ambush for him. Although I probably should be further back, like here. And I was right. So try and get a shot, but we check around the corner. Yep, no, that's not a good idea at all. Get a sneaky shot in when he derps his uh, shot into the side. Now. Always good to note the SU12244 has a really fast reload, about seven seconds. I think you can get down to six if you got the right skills. Just tried to track him, but we finished him off. As you can probably see, we've actually switched to premium rounds. Now, all we got left is this. T29. We've done 3,170 damage so far. And right now my heart is racing. Because I'm just like, oh my goodness. This is such a tight game. Such So so close. I'm sort of hoping that the T29 is actually camping. And decide not to help his, um, his uh, TD brother. But that looks like that's not the case. So... Unfortunately, we lose our Hellcat buddy, and I decide to try and do a sneaky shot down the side, down the mountain. But this is where it all goes wrong, and not because he shoots me. I didn't realise the mountain was that steep. I can tell you right now that that was my own fault. That should have been a sure win. We, I had him, and I've pretty much just dropped the game. That was embarrassing. Well, well, I think you can see what happened there. Let's go on to the post-game stats. And as you can see, that was a defeat, which was very sad, but also it was a mastery badge, which is also very, very good for me. Um, we also got the three ribbons, Fire for Effect, Fighter, and Bruiser. We also got the High Carbon Medal, which means we got given the full of um, our experience. So, Team Saw, um, go on to that. Um, as you can see, we got the most experience by far, and also the most damage. Um, Looks like, let's have a look, let's sort this by XP earned. So, Cromwell did very well, our Hellcat friend who did very well until unfortunately being killed at the end. Um, pretty much everyone else was, was okay, but not, not amazing. Um, Looks like that KV2 had a pretty bad game, unfortunately. He was supposed to with the Cromwell B. So, yeah, we got 1,322 experience on a loss. Although that was with the uh, Heroic Defiance Medal. Um, Heroic Defiance... Oh, which if it's called. Um, 3,297 3, damage. Very good um, Very good amount of damage there for a uh, gun that only does 135 per shot. Details. Um, shots fired, 45. Out of those 45, 36 hit and 26 penetrated. So it didn't take a huge amount to do that much damage. Um, yes, we've already talked about our damage. It's 3,297 from a distance of more than 300 metres, which was 1,183. Hits received 12. 
five of those penetrated and seven of those didn't penetrate, which is we bounced quite well. So you can see the armor's not bad in this. I mean, it's it's not amazing. I mean, it, it's 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 a medium tank, so it's not really supposed to bounce shots, but it can bounce a couple. So damage blocked by armor three. Th so that's pretty much our health plus five, um, one thousand three hundred and five. Uh, we spotted too many vehicles, we damaged 8 of the enemy vehicles in the enemy team and destroyed 4 of those. Um, got 624 assistance damage, so not too bad, just probably a couple of shots here and there. Um, got 65 def base defense po points and we traveled 3.53 kilometers. So, the game lasted 12 minutes and 37 seconds, so it was a pretty long game and uh, did fairly well for that. Um, now, Money earned, so we earned 65,448 credits. Um, the compensation for uh, someone hitting us was 1,370. So, obviously, someone hit us for more damage than I thought. I thought it was just a small hit, but obviously it was a fair few. Um, auto repair, taking taking care of that. We fired a fair bit of um, premium ammo that game. I'm not sure what's happening with the mouse pointer now. Um... Auto supply consumables, well, we used a health kit, I think, at the beginning, or too close to the beginning. Didn't use our repair kit, which was nice, and uh, ended up with a total of 1,000, uh, sorry, 11,632 11, ah, 11, credits. Um, now, we're not running a premium account at the moment, because we can't afford it right now, but one day maybe. Um, that would have been 45 credits, bon uh, cr oh, profit, that would have been nice. So yes, um, and all up we got 1,586 experience, so it's very nice for us. Um, if we were running premium, we would get 2,000, 2,379, it's a bit hard for me to read there. So yes, the Panther M10, not a bad tank, not a great tank, just okay, um, but still I find a lot of fun to play with, and it's... Um, so it's done well in the games I've had it with. So anyway, um, I'll th thanks for watching, and I hope you have a nice evening. See ya. Bye.